What's up guys, I'm Fred with 1320 Video and welcome back for another episode of our Top 10s. This one's gonna be about nothing but imports, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. At number 10, we have the quickest Evo 10 in the world. This is at TX2K this year, Lucas English piloting the ETS Evo X. The car makes well over a thousand horsepower and that weekend he went out and broke the record, I think three times. At the end of the weekend, the best time he had was an 848 at 164 miles an hour. And I believe the car's actually gotten faster since then. At number nine, we have White Rice. We caught this car at World Cup Finals in Maryland this year. It's a pro speed built 240SX. It's got a billet 2JZ with a 94 millimeter turbo, making some big Texas power. It makes about 2,000 horsepower on 85 pounds of boost. The goal for the weekend was to hit a six, and they did just that. Best for the weekend was a 697 at 204 miles an hour. At number eight, we have the six second flame throwing rotary. Kyle found this car in Australia. It's an FDRX7 with a 20B, making over 1300 brake horsepower. It ran a 687 at 204, and this car was just freaking insane. <laughs> Next up at number seven, we have a Datsun on the streets. We caught this car at a couple different no preps close by us. It's a 1973 Datsun 1200. It's got a 13B with a 72 millimeter turbo with a Lanco style transmission. It wasn't your typical LS Fox body that would normally see at cash days, which was awesome. This thing moved out. <laughs> Number six, we have the first H pattern Subaru to ever hit a seven. We caught this car at World Cup Finals in Maryland this year. It's the White Bullet team all the way from Puerto Rico. The car's packing a 2.5 liter engine with a 76 mil millimeter turbo and making about a thousand horsepower. Like I said, it still has an H pattern transmission and it ran a 797 at 168 miles an hour, making it the first Subaru to ever hit a seven. It's freaking insane. They even hit a faster number later on in the day, and I've never seen a team so excited to hit a seven before. Number five, we have the Speed Factory Civic goes 200 miles an hour. This was just insane to me to think about it. We caught this car at World Cup Finals in Maryland. The Speed Factory built Honda Civic hatch. It went 764 at 201. It's a Civic and it went 201 miles an hour in a quarter mile. That just blew my mind. It was the first front wheel drive stock chassis car to ever do 200 and a quarter. This car was insane and it back half so hard.
number four, the wildest RX-7 we've ever filmed. Again, at World Cup Finals in Maryland, FD RX-7 with a two rotor 13B with an 83 millimeter turbo. It's a solid seven second car all weekend. But I swear this car cannot go straight to save its life. Every time it launches, it goes left or right. It's all over the place. But Len, the driver, can definitely drive the shit out of that car. And he made some crazy passes. Definitely the craziest RX-7 we've ever filmed. <laughs> Number three, the 950 horsepower Civic at Cots. We filmed this at Chi Town Cots, which is a no prep, and it was a Honda Civic hatch with an H22 6785 turbo making about 950 horsepower. I know what you're thinking, a no prep and front wheel drive don't mix. Well, you'd be wrong. Not only did this car compete, it made it to the finals, and it did Honda things in the finals and it broke its transmission, but it was so impressive that a front wheel drive car, the first one I've ever seen in a no prep, went to the race and actually competed and went to the finals. Those guys were freaking awesome. Number two, Miles Integra. This car blows my mind every time I see it. We filmed this car at TX2K and Pikes Peak this year. It's a over a thousand horsepower Acura Integra. At TX2K, which is beaten up on GTRs left and right, and at Pikes Peak, it became the first front wheel drive car to ever do 200 and a half mile. 201.07 to be exact. I've never seen somebody so excited to hit a number. He's been trying for 200 for years and he finally did it. We couldn't be happier for him. And at number one, the most awesome, craziest import we filmed over the past couple years was the Nissan Patrol 918 Killer in Dubai. This is a Nissan Patrol that I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen on the show, the Grand Tour, spanking a 918 Spider. This car was built by F Performance in Dubai. It features a full GTR drivetrain from the engine, trans, subframe, even the brakes and dash were out of a GTR. The engine was a built 4.1 stroker, making about 1,900 horsepower at the time. Like I said, it was famous for gap-tizing a 918 Spider on the Grand Tour. The car has actually competed in a half mile before, and it did 205. It's an SUV, and it did 205 and a half mile. I don't know if that's unsafe or if that, that, that's just crazy, but we love it either way. Kyle got the chance to ride in the car, and it looked like the most fun you could have in an SUV. And that's why this Nissan Patrol has earned its spot at the top of our list for imports. Here, and then patrol. Patrol, uh, patrol, GTR. Oh my God. <laughs> Holy <sh> <laughs> 
Thanks guys for watching. We hope you love these cars as much as we love filming them. We'll see you guys in the next one. Guys, thanks for watching this video. If you guys haven't checked out our merch store recently, we have over 100 items on there, including a bunch of new releases. So make sure you guys go check those out. If you guys like this video, go ahead and hit that like button right there and check out these other two videos right here. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And most importantly, hit that bell next to the subscribe button and you'll get a notification every single time we post a video. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.